there, it's Tank Girl, and I have a generic white box in front of me. What could it possibly be? Something else arrived on my doorstep today. Um, the sticker might give it away that it's a definitely a T-Mobile uh, box of some sort. Um, this is actually pre-release packaging, and um, but I believe the device is a final hardware and software. So. Um, what could it be? Well, it's actually a consolation prize. I asked T-Mobile and T-Mobile PR to send me a Motorola Click. As you know, I uh, played with the Motorola Click um, at Mobileyes and took some pictures, and I was suitably impressed. And I requested a, immediately requested a review unit. However, T-Mobile and their PR agency did not have enough to go around, and so they sent me this consolation prize. Now, I want to say the PR and T-Mobile folks are wonderful and really helpful and do their best, but I'm very disappointed that they weren't able to provide me with a uh, Motorola Click review unit. And the reason for that is because I currently have the Droid from Verizon and the HTC Hero from Sprint. Um, and it would have been a fantastic addition to have the Motorola Click to review at the same time. And of course, I also have a G1 and a MyTouch 3G. In fact, I have the uh, Google I.O. conference version, the developer edition. So I have enough Android units here that adding the click to the review roster would have been awesome. But hey, I have to live with the consolation price, and this is it. And so, as I said, it's um, pre-release packaging, but uh, actually a release device. And it's the Sony Ericsson Equinox. Um, it's a dumb phone and it's a very sexy and very slim uh, flip phone and so let me give you a quick outside tour here is the quick port as you can see there's the hinge and here's the volume rocker and there's nothing much else on this on the outside the front here has 3 megapixel camera without autofocus an OLED display, monochrome, and uh, some LEDs hidden behind this. I haven't removed the front sticker. So let me open it up and show you the inside. So here is a very stylish and very good fe feeling um, numeric pad, keypad, and the screen is pretty large. So you know, it's a dumb phone, but it does have a few interesting features. It, you know, the camera is three megapixel fixed focus, but it does have uh, GPS and 3G on the T-Mobile bands, which in addition to quad band edge, which is nice. So let me turn it on, and I just want to show you the uh, the OLED display on the outside because it's nice. While it's while it's starting up here, um, I'm going to show you what else is in the box. As I said, this is not the final accessory and stuff. So the only thing it came with is a, is a, there you go, it's booting, a quick port um, AC adapter. And that's pretty much it. Now the retail version should have a, a headset as well in the box. And of course the manuals would live in here. Um, so that's all that it came with, but I asked uh, if they could tell me. So the things they won't ship with, from my understanding is, no USB data cable and no uh, M2 memory card. There is a M2 memory card slot under the battery door. This is the proprietary Sony Ericsson memory card format, which is based on the memory stick format. So, you know, this feels really lovely for a dumb phone. It's uh, not everybody wants a smartphone, not everybody wants a touch screen phone. And so, this is uh, pretty stylish and pretty slim and small. It has a relatively, relatively decent feature set. Now, here's the OLED display that I mentioned. As you can see, there is a battery status and a signal status and time, etc. Um, and, you know, I certainly think that some people are going to enjoy this device. I've always liked Sony Ericsson phones. They, they're really well built and they generally have a slightly above average feature set. So, I'm going to play with it briefly and uh, mostly probably review the camera because, you know, that's what I do. Um, I definitely focus on smartphones more, but I'll give it a quick look. And, you know, T-Mobile and T-Mobile PR, next time, please, you know, think about um, the fact that 
you know, even those smaller bloggers would like to get their hands on the good stuff. And obviously, you know, other other PR agencies are doing that with the Droid and the HTC Hero. So it'd be nice if we could get it all coordinated nicely so we could compare devices. Anyway, this is Tank Girl. Um, and this is the Sony Ericsson Equinox, my consolation prize for the Motorola Click. Um, and um, I'll be putting this for the spaces. Keep, keep, my, uh, keep an eye on my blog, Tank Girl Mobile, tnkgrl.wordpress.com. Cheers.